Hi everyone! Welcome to this video. I don't know if you didn't know. I really like planning. I have a lot of videos on that on my YouTube channel. I was never a fan of Notion when it first came out. I like, I first of all, I was never a fan of digital planning, but here I am showing you how I set up my Notion, which first things first, I'm not using it for like everyday planning. This is for like goal planning, future planning, stuff like that. Like kind of, it's the big picture of my life. So yeah, also you'll get some free templates, which the second one is actually a lot now that I've unpacked it. So yes, let's get started. So here we are in my homepage. The top over here is on my Pinterest if you wanna download it. It's a collage that I made. My Pinterest is linked in the description. Here I have my pages, which home is the one that I'm using most often. Goals, my dream life, Avon, YouTube, and photo album. Like these three I'm not going to show to you. If you wanna see them, then write down in the comments below, I won't ignore it. I can like tell you everything about these. I just don't think that they're necessary for this video. Okay, so let's start with home. When you walk in, you have the link, uh, it's in goals, we'll go to that later. Uh, then when you scroll down, I have my rules, which basically is something that one day I just sat down and I was like, if I had like time and energy and the will to do that, like enough self-discipline, what would I do? And those were the things that I wrote down. Yes, here in the middle, we have my self-care calendar, which is a link from a calendar in goals. So you will get that as well. Uh, let's go to this untitled page. Uh, we have daily log, we have Saturday log, we have weekly reflection and monthly checkup. Anyway, let's not talk about that and let's talk about how you actually use it. Okay, so daily log, that's something that I should do every day. I didn't do it for like a couple of days. That happens. Oopsie. So over here we have, uh, I use it as a mood tracker. Over here we have the mood. Uh, here we have how much I slept. Then I have habits, which I created based on those rules that I said previously. Um, under this line, I have habits that I kind of incorporated for my monthly goals or just it's Duolingo. So this wasn't even in my monthly goals. I just, it's not in the rules. It's something that I just want to do. Not full time, you know, not in the rules. Something that I would like to add. Over here, I have food. I didn't write down my food yet because I usually do it like at the end of the day or in the middle. Here, I have self-care, which literally would be skincare and not self-care, but okay. Uh, time tracker, which is literally just did I exercise and if I did how much and did I read and if I read how much. I added a link to my workout because I actually really liked it. Notes if like something happened on that day that maybe influenced these or just something that I would like to write down which isn't like a whole diary entry. It's just like, I don't know, one line, one sentence or three sentences about something. So this is that and a link to my routines, uh, morning and evening routine, if I just like need to quickly check how it looks like because I don't remember something. We can also go to Saturday log, which it looks a little bit different right now because over here you can see that I tried using Notion as a full-time planner, but it didn't work out. Uh, Saturday is different only because I have the Saturday night routine over here and I have a uh, cleaning in steps. And here I have pages that are only in my home, a weekly planner. This page right over here is also in the links. You can get that. So, um, why do I have this if I don't use Notion as my planner? On Saturdays, I sit down and plan how would I like this week to look like. For example, if I have work, if I have stuff to do, like for example, YouTube or other things like that or Avon work, I just sit down and like plan it out in days, you know? When you are, when you like don't have school, you don't have structure, you don't have due dates, it's a little bit harder to figure out like what you should do when. So I just like to sit down over here. This, that's why this little to-do list is over here because when I think of something that I should do and that doesn't necessarily have a due date but like has to be done in the near future, I just write it down over here. And also if it doesn't have like a date assigned to it, I just write it down over here then I can incorporate it to the next week. If I click over here, another kind of week planner spawns. Here I have um, kind of my routine stuff if you want to change that you could just click over here on the edit button and you can just write whatever you want delete whatever you want and then just click done and that's how it's going to like respawn the next time that you click it over here it also is a button to respawn this um archives is when i am done with this and it's done with the week i put it into archives you can see i have two weeks over here so yeah and then based on like this kind of time planning i do the to-do list or i start the other way around, I do a to-do list of what I would like to do and then put it in the uh, time 
situation over here. I don't really revisit this like every day of the week. The setting up the week prevented me from like being like, okay, I could do that tomorrow. Because technically right now I don't have school. I don't have work like a nine to five. So there is no structure. So this helps me to keep that structure. If you have any questions, by the way, write them down in the comments. I won't ignore them. I will answer all of them. I love talking about planning and especially this. I wish that more people could would want to listen. Okay. Let's go to the goals because that's the more interesting part, okay? Here's the goals page. This is from Pinterest. Uh, I didn't do it by myself. Okay, first of all, this is like the OG, my rule list that you saw in the in the home page. And here I have a list of my 2023 goals. Uh, okay, and here's the original self-care calendar, which over here you can see the um, mood and the uh, hours of sleep. I'm not going to get into these anymore, but I will show you the weekly reflection. Uh, over here I have the monthly goals so that I could check up if I did something towards that goal. Uh, here I have the rules and I crossed them out. This this isn't crossed out. Okay, so this was a week that I didn't do, Not I like broke all of my rules. I didn't check anything uh, off. And this is a week that I like did log everything and uh, how I do it basically if it's three or more days I did check it off in the daily log then I am allowed to check it off over here this that's why I have these like little numbers over here it's like how many times did I do it again with the monthly goals um, and then I have a journaling part which the uh, orange ones are the questions that you have and this is a template so if you will want to do it for yourself because obviously this calendar is like incorporated to this page so it's in templates over here so let's like the weekly reflection this is how it looks like empty so, so this is how it looks like untouched let me just delete this real quick okay and another thing is monthly checkup okay so this is how it looks like um the pink side which is the left side is kind of the reflection on this month and how did i do and the green part is the future slash this month kind of sort of setup okay so here's last month's goals i didn't set any because you know school and stuff i didn't do that but uh i can show it to you because i already um synced in from this monthly check into the next monthly check i synced up these goals that i have for so for may so these are may goals and these are the goals that will happen in june they're synced so if i check off this one that one will also get checked off so let's go to the filled in one because that will be easier for me to explain the pink side so first of all last month's goals and did I fulfill them? Rule check. So how I do in the weekly checkup, I do it in the monthly checkup, but I focus on the weeks. No matter how many times I did it in, on a certain week, if it's crossed out in that week, it counts as if I did it. So if it's crossed out two or three times, uh, like for two or three weeks, depending on how much the month has weeks, I can cross it out over here. Okay, I think that I explained it. Then we have reflection, which, which are two questions. What are three things that I'm proud of and I forgive myself for? Here, over here I have in a, let's do a full view. You know how there is that like circle chart sort of thing? Or I don't know what it's called and I don't know who made it, but you are supposed to like color in how much you did, how good you did in a certain part of your life. So like personal growth, spiritually, self uh, image, stuff like that. And then I give stars on like, based not really on like any rules to do's or stuff like that just on the feeling like what i'm thinking about this month and the weeks that have passed how, what am i thinking like how good did i do on these things right so last month it was finances that was absolutely sucking so over here in the kind of future uh planning um i have what do i want to improve on based on these like you could do more than one but i just did one for this month why and how why is very important. Yes. So, and the, th and the kind of future planning, uh, over here we have the three months plan for this month, which I do based on the three months planning that you will see uh, in a second. Then I have this month, if I kind of have a new goal that I want to do, or just an idea that isn't really, you know, like, like for example, over here, take up some extra work days that will technically fulfill this goal, but this is like kind of a step towards this goal. And this is like, these are just the things that I really want to focus on, but they are not necessarily over here. But at the same time, both of these are smaller steps for both of these. But why do I have this and not just focus on this? It's because over here I write how often and why do I want to do that again with the why. Okay, let me explain the why, maybe. So basically, I write why do I want to do something. It's not 
anything new. I'm pretty sure that you could hear it in lavender or anywhere. First of all, you will know if you actually want to do this. There's there are so many goals that you do maybe because of greed or like any like bad emotion, like being jealous or stuff like that. If you will know, by the way, change jealousy into like a guiding light. Anyway, you have to know why you want to do that. Second of all, if you will write down your why, whenever you get like lost or like are unmotivated and you read your why, it will come back to you. It will it will come back so good. Like trust me okay so that's what's over here um how often is also important because if it's like every day i can incorporate it to the um under that line of that daily log okay and then intentions feeling i'm welcoming next month experiences i'm welcoming what are three things i can do to make next month better and prayer and the reflection on the chart this is how the month looks like the monthly checkup okay next kind of underneath there anyway I have my morning routine written down, I have my night routine written down, I have my Saturday routine written down. These are ideal routines. I don't do them every day. I'm just mostly doing what I'm feeling that day. I am trying my best to do these because this is like, you know, the dream, like I did everything, I am feeling super good. You know, it's all like trial and error and if something works out one week, it doesn't mean that we'll work out the other one. So I'm not strictly keeping myself, like, I'm not strictly doing all of this all the time. Over here I have like, if I feel down, I have four YouTube links to different YouTubers, one of which is mine. Okay, over here, three months plan. That's interesting. The plans on the monthly uh, planning check, whatever, are from here because here before every quarter of the year over here i have may july because they started in may so it's a word for the quarter uh my main focus current and total are for the progress bar so total is like the amount of tasks or goals that i have for this month and currents are the amount of goals that i already did here i have a visual representation it's like you know okay so first of all i write the main focus and how i want uh this quarter to look like i read this in the present tense um, I'm sure that you've heard it like everywhere because it's like in every single help video um, on YouTube that I have seen but you know writing it at present tense as if you already have this that's over here then I have a list of goals for like things that I would want in this quarter to happen and then I go more specifically into every single month focus I have and then it's like kind of dividing it in steps like how I want it to go like first this will happen then this and this and that but they can also like like reading for example is in the entire month right but this is just kind of the steps kind of kind of how it's going to look like um then i have the goals which are these goals kind of separated into smaller pieces and then i have a note on why how where when and stuff like that and that's just how it looks like for the rest of the months and that's it that's for the three months planning and here we have the yearly planning over here i did this is like not any year this is just so that i could show you how an empty one looks like because you get the templates in the in the link also if you will take the link please comment because i want to know how many people will actually use this because this is a lot but i feel like this is all that you need for your goal planning okay and here i have just years at a glance so that i could see what were my goals so that i wouldn't have to go over here and then scroll down and stuff like that how does the yearly template look like so you write the year over here and first is the word of the year then is your focus you can like over here i don't have like i have only this because this is the first year that i'm doing this but you know you can like type whatever you want i just wanted to make it like nicer in color that's why i did that an image of this year i again got it from pinterest i didn't even do the collage myself um okay over here i have like this description of how to set this up because when i was setting this up i was like okay in a year when i will do another yearly setup i will have no idea what was my intention like the plan and then and then steps like i i wouldn't know so here's like a little description of what to do how to do and what should i fill in in these certain spaces so for example in the goals it's a toggle list so you have a checkbox if it's done or not and then you have two points why do i want to do it and how do i want to do that then we have the plan of like how you want your year to look like like from the beginning to the end you can insert the goals in like a certain type of timeline um just you know kind of basic so for me it was like the first part of the year will be still school getting 
done with school, graduating and stuff like that. Then we have summer sort of thing. And then we have starting university. That's kind of how it's divided. And over here to make it even more in time, due dates sort of start points and end points for all of the goals that are over here. So that I wouldn't have to stress like, oh my God, I have like six goals and I'm only working on three, for example, because like these two are, I believe, from the start to the end of the year. Then it's finished school and it's like up till April and I already finished school. Then we have to start university, start work and stuff like that. So, you know, a just to show how time wise it looks like. Then I have a table just to see like all of them together and also with the progress bar, how much I did of which one. And this is so because when you look at this, wait, where's the on top of the page that like I have only one crossed out like that's not motivating but when you see I like that you're working towards them and you will get them done at the end of the year that is truly beautiful a gallery view of this table is linked to the home page that's what you saw like at the very top so that I can see all of my goals that I'm working towards although I did hear about the fact that you should like completely leave all of your goals like write them down Write your dream life, write your goals, and just leave it and forget about it. Don't think about how it's going to happen. Don't think about why it's going to happen. Just forget about it. And it worked for me a little bit when I forgot about these goals. I'm looking at them purely because, and I want to kind of sort of keep myself reminded of where I'm going. Because after school, which technically was when I finished one of my goals, but I didn't know about that. Um, after school, I got so stressed that, oh my god, like, I'm technically an adult now. I need to, like, figure out my life. I need to know what I'm doing. And I was just so stressed. I was in a bad situation. And then I accidentally went back to my notion. And I looked at all the things that I have planned. Like, I already had this year planned. I had the, you know, I had a script for myself. I know what I was supposed to do. And everything started being more clear to me because I already did that when I had the mind space I did it and it worked for me so uh, the last thing is why am I going to do this okay and to make it even more like to the future um, I have my three-year plan so you should do this for five years but um, you know I'm a little bit young I don't know like maybe one day I'll wake up and I'll be like you know what I just want to go to Africa and pet elephants or just take the car and go like around the world or something i don't know that yet so this is just for the next three years how i feel like it's going to how i feel like they're all going to fall into place how i would like them to go uh how they will go because in present tense how they are going in present tense they're very vague it's just you know some basic things that i feel like they're going to happen and how i would like it to fall in place yes so that's the goal page the last thing is my dream life, which is the most futuristic planning that you can do. So basically, I'm sure that you also already heard about that. This is basically a page where, first of all, I wrote the description of my life in present tense, how my dream life is looking like, so that I would kind of have a representation of how I want it to look like. If you could think about the best ever life that you can have, write it down over here I first write it down wrote it down on a page uh, but then I was like okay this is I, I will lose that so I wrote it down over here I rewrite it and down over here you know how it was on the like circle table chart and the monthly view review or whatever you want to call it over here I have pretty much the same thing in my dream life I'm just writing a description of my dream life but over here um, I'm writing my dream life from these points kind of of view so career and business and I'm writing how I want my career and business to look like education Fitness and wealth, family, fitness and health, love, social and spiritual. And I'm writing, let's for example, go to the girl boss. Uh, first of all, visual representation. Sec second of all, how does it look? Again, in present tense. And why does it look like that? Also in present tense, but the why is important so that you would know why you are doing all of this. I, I didn't make a template for this. If you want a template for this, then please write down in the comments. I can totally do that. I just didn't think that people would want it because this is pretty easy. So let's go back to home. And now that you know kind of how my goal planning looks like, now you can see the goals over here with the little <laughs> percentage bars. I don't really click on them over here because for I did it mostly for the photos and then for the little percentage bars. Um, yeah, my rules, my monthly plan, just to, for like a quick, if I like need something, if I like need to check something because I don't remember something, just, that's why. Also the photo because it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all.
Okay, guys. Thank you all guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or want, you know, more on something or you want a template. By the way, the templates that I did are completely free. They're in the description. It's the weekly planner and the goals planner. You can absolutely get them. Please write a comment down below if you do because that would be amazing. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am so glad that I got to share this with you. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I hope that you're having an amazing life and I hope that your life is going to be even more amazing with these goal planning setups, whatever. Um, or maybe it's going to be amazing without them. I don't know, but just have a great time on this planet while you have it and Bye!